So the liberty-pilled and America-based frat boys of Pi Kappa Phi have raised over $322,000. So if you take a look right here, you can see, like, all of the different fraternity brothers sitting there holding the flag up as they're at the bottom of the flagpole there on the main campus of US, U, uh, UNC Chapel Hill. And they're, you know, pretty much surrounded by tons and tons of students all over the place. Some are you know, being supportive of them. Some of them are just like mocking them. Some of them are standing around. I mean, you still see people in masks in there for crying out loud. You're like, okay, what are you guys doing? Um, but yeah, there's, you know, people throwing stuff. There's folks that are probably yelling and screaming at them all over the place. There's people that are yelling obscenities, but I, I quite, I silenced that out. Cause I mean, obviously we're, that's not the important part. The important part is you see all these fraternity brothers sitting under there holding the flag up, keeping it from being desecrated, keeping people from touching it, pe keeping people from letting it touch the ground, which meant a You've lot. You've probably seen this video and this picture going all over, like viral all over the internet yesterday, all over, you know, X, all over Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everything uh, of these young fraternity brothers from Pi Kappa Phi holding up the American flag to prevent it from from touching the ground at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill's campus, uh, whence, you know, where, where people were trying to lower the flag, take it off, and raise the Palestinian flag. So a man named John Noonan started a GoFundMe for them that says, Pi Kappa Phi men defended their flag. Throw them a rager. And it started out yesterday relatively low. It was like $3,000. Uh, wasn't anything crazy. And it says on behalf of Susan Ralston. I don't know who either of those people are. I'm not, I'm not advocating to donate to them by any means. Um, if you want to, you can. But, you know, maybe you do some research. I think that this is awesome. Because first off, these young men kept the American flag from touching the ground and kept it from being desecrated by these folks that were out there protesting. And I have an appreciation for that because I care about the American flag and I care about what it represents. So let's read what it says uh, right now, currently at 620 in the morning. Um, so the original, the original wording that they put in there said, Commie losers across the country have invaded college campuses to make dumb demands of weak university administrators. But amidst the chaos, the screaming, the anti-Semitism, the hatred of faith and flag, stood a platoon of American heroes. Armored in vineyard vines in Patagonia, fueled by zin and white claws, these triumphant brohemians protected old glory from the unwashed Marxist horde. Laughing at their shrieks and wails and shielding the stars and stripes from Soviet missiles. These boys, no, men of the UNC Chapel Hill Pi Kappa Phi gave the best to America and now they deserve the best. Help us raise funds to throw this frat the party they deserve. A party worth of the boat shoed broletariat who did their country proud. Do you notice that play on words with broletariat that comes from a... Uh, the word proletariat, which is a very famous Marxist term. Um, but anyway, as of this morning, they put an update up there. They said, update, we are overwhelmed by you glorious patriotic Americans who value good beer and great times. We are in contact with multiple leaders from fraternities whose members helped defend the flag, including Alpha Epsilon Pi and others. In addition to Pi Kappa Psi, our gratitude goes to all of them, and we will update supporters on what comes next. He put an, another update in that says, A programming note for all of you who bleed red, white, and blue. We have identified a world-class event planner named Susan, and she is already hard at work. She worked in the White House and knows what she's about. Another fine American is wheels down in North Carolina tonight and working to identify all of our noble-born brochachos who stood down the frumpy hordes with nothing more than a pastel shirt and a smile <laughs> okay go fund go fund has dispatched a member of their team to work closely with us and ensure your donations do as god intended to show these guys enough fireworks to blow their oakley aviators straight off their faces <laughs> 
It was 48 years ago this week that Cubs outfielder Rick Monday snatched the American flag from the grimy hands of a long-haired trot Trotskites, saving it from incineration. The crowd thanked him with a standing ovation. Today, you're that crowd. You gave these Great flag saluting patriots, the honor they so richly deserve. We hope your generosity is a message to every college campus in America, from sea to shining sea. This country is great. This country is worth defending. That flag means something, and America takes care of her own. More to follow. That's that's awesome. I love I just I love seeing people come together for this stuff, this kind of thing, man. This is so cool. Um now let's check out the top donations because that is something I'm interested in. So apparently, so yesterday, I think somebody said that the top donor at first was a guy named William Ackman, who's like apparently a famous uh, hedge fund manager. And Bill Ackman donated $10,000 14 hours ago. And then somebody else named John Clark Wanted to one up that, so he donated ten thousand twenty four dollars nine hours ago. He's like, hey, I got just a little bit extra on top of Bill Ackman, and below that is a person named Penny Nosbaum, John Haber, Mortimer Grumple Pony, who <laughs> is Mortimer Grumple Pony, Brett Jensen, Robert Ritchie, Sean Forbes, Jordan Freed, a few others. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this this has been and very interesting to see. A lot of you don't realize this probably, but I went to UNC Chapel Hill. I went there from 2019 until 2021. I got my I got my degree. If you look over here on the wall, let's see if I can zoom in on that. University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Yeah, that's my bachelor's degree right there. So. I went there, uh, like I said, 2019 to 2021, got my exercise sports science degree from there, met a lot of really cool people. Uh, I used to work at a bar there called uh, Might As Well and met tons of the student like athletes. I became friends with a lot of the student athletes because a, a lot of us were very similar. We all like to work out. We like to, you know, have a good time. We like to, you know, we love our country, you know, um, at least from what I saw, a lot of most of the student athletes were super patriotic. They loved America and they love what we represent. They love, you know, the, they, they loved uh, they love being fit and they love team teamwork and camaraderie and all that stuff. So that was really cool. Uh, my brothers, both of my brothers were in fraternity, so I'm sure that they see this and they're like, this is really awesome. Like, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens with these guys. I think what was the other name? There's a guy in here. I believe his name was. So one of the guy's names, funny enough, one of the guy's names, Estrado or Estrada Guillermo. Yeah, I think his name's Estrada Guillermo. He posted a tweet yesterday on X saying, my fraternity brother Estrada Guillermo and I were photographed holding up the American flag in the quad of UNC Chapel Hill during the protests. Since then, those images have spread, receiving media coverage nationwide. And, okay, that came from a guy named Alex Jones. Very fitting. Um, that's awesome that his name is actually Alex Jones. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, it's... This has been really cool to see, like, go crazy all over the place. And honestly, like, this restores a lot of hope that I have in college campuses that there's still people out there that love this country. Um, so, like, great job, boys. Thank you for keeping the flag safe. Thank you for keeping it off the ground and and protecting it from people that wanted to desecrate it and cause it harm. So, um, anyway... Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it or if you think that there's if you have something interesting about this, if you have any updates about what's going on, um, if you know any of the but any of the folks that were in this fraternity, you know, let me know. Let people in the comments know. Let like let's spread the word because I think these guys deserve some recognition for for what they did to take care of the flag. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Have a great second of May.